Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hello, farmers. Welcome back to the Pacific Northwest. For today, today, fourth day of autumn, uh, we got harvesting to do. Uh, the one thing I did before I called it a night was I gave the cows more total mix rations, excuse me, power food. Uh, a lot of it counts as silage, which I wish, like I gave them like 6,000 uh, liters and only registered like half of that and the rest went into silage. Which to me, I, I, yeah, there is silage and power food, but why not? Yeah, whatever. That That's the way it is. Uh, their health is up to 39%, though, so that's all good and whatnot. Uh, at the end of the last episode, we were at, what, 25 grand-ish? By doing the work in that one big field, we're up to 94 grand. Which is good, because I like to buy a toy. Uh, but that toy is going to cost 125 so we're almost there. Um, we do have the money sitting around the farm, though. If we want to start selling grain, uh, we could probably easily get up to that mark. But I can wait on the toy a little bit longer. Not that big of a deal. Yeah, I learned to go in the cab while I'm driving on these roads. Uh, yeah, because if we wait until like the middle of winter-ish, uh, the price of the grain that we have will be at a lot better rate. So let's drive in our crops because we don't have crop destruction. So <laughs> yeah, last episode uh, we kind of took care of these three fields that we harvested. They're replanted. But we got to come up here to this field for the reason of need a harvest. And I thought about I think oats I can do straw but really I want to get this I always face the wrong way I want to get this field harvested and just jump right into plowing uh, not plowing excuse me cultivating it so we can replant it in the same in game day it won't be well I'll, I'll, I'll cultivate it when we go start harvesting other fields uh, so enable straw swath. No, I don't want to do that. I just want to make sure that's off. Oh, I haven't unfolded that even yet. See, you play Farmer's Dynasty where you don't have to unfold the harvest. Yeah, yeah, okay. So you don't see what happens. All right. Anyways, uh, <laughs> yeah. So since we got the chop straw mod uh, on this map, at least we'll get one fertilization stage out of it. So after we seed it, we can fertilize again. That'll be stage number two. So I didn't bother go checking on our uh, bio processing plant to see how that did. Uh, like I said, I worked in the big field after that last episode just to get our cash back up. I have not yet checked, like I said, checked the biogas plant to see how the outcome was. Because we could really use that liquid fertilizer for making more seed. But we should have enough seed to replant the three fields that we have, I would think. And yes, we will get to the part of making this all one field just that really don't have the time to be bothered by cutting down all the trees, plowing it. So when we get free time in the winter, we'll be taking care of the trees, the hedges around here. And that's uh, next spring before we plant. We will make this all one nice big field. And then hopefully by then, by selling a lot of stuff, we can also get a big seed roll. And, of course, we're going to need a bigger tractor to haul the bigger seed roll. But in the first year, nope, we, will, we want to get this stuff harvested. Uh, put it in our stores until the price is right. Hello, Bob Barker. And uh, replant the field so in the springtime we got more crops. 
Now in the springtime, I'll probably probably do uh, straw bales. We we made a pretty good profit on straw bales. I think we made like 11 grand, and I don't think it was even a was it a full trailer? I can't remember if it was a full trailer. Like 30 some odd ba 30 bales would be a full trailer. I can't remember if it was or wasn't. But at least in today's episode, our main goal is to get all the fields harvested and we'll get uh, a course play worker started on cultivating the fields and then eventually planting, I think we said barley. Uh, the reason why I, I've already done wheat and we already got wheat in storage. Now the only thing I don't, don't know about the storage capacity at the farm is it is it set for a hundred grand like most silos are so I don't know I already got I think we got like 70,000 grains of wheat so until I truly know I'm just gonna plant barley but we should be selling the wheat in the middle of winter but I do need to keep some of it for the chickens chickens don't take that much but eventually we'll be buying more chickens And if we do run out of wheat, well, then what we could do with the chickens is, well, you can feed them other crops. But what we could do is just put some straw in there and they'll, uh, they won't produce eggs, but they will start uh, breeding. Which I have not even checked into yet to see what the rate of breeding is. So we almost got a full tank. So uh, make sure I hit the right buttons here today. And now's a good time since we're at the edge of a corner. We'll go pick up the trailer. Empty this sucker out. Chop straw, thank you for your fertilization because saves us one procedure. Although if I did straw swath, we'd be getting straw bale well, we have to make our own straw bales. We can make some money, but I'm running kind of low on fertilizer. I don't know how much was made at the like I said, I don't know how much was made at the, at the plant. We can go get some when we need some, whatever is there. Uh, come on, jump, dude. There you go. This guy's a lot more athletic than the guy in Farmer's Dynasty. Just saying. And there we go, pipe in. And I'm off. So I'm gonna continue to harvest this field. I'll bring it back when I'm done so we can see how much we got out of here because uh, all three fields that we're doing today are, are different types. So it's not like we can just transfer what we got in here. We gotta. Make sure we clear everything out before we go do other fields. And we'll bring the new Holland over with the cultivator so he can get start he or she can get started on cultivating the field. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you in a second. Almost got another full tank out of it. So we're going to put, like, what, 22, 23? No, because that wasn't a full tank before either, so... So it should get like two-thirds of a trailer out of this. Not bad. Uh, let's see. I, can't, I was like, oh, I'll fold it up while it's unloading it. That's kind of stupid. You can't fold it up until it's empty.
for the next field we'll be dealing with Triticale across across that street right over there all right pipe in fold up I remember oh there's a trailer I see it I see it also could buy a stump grinder so we can get rid of these uh, stumps I'm really not one for leasing I do plan on doing some forestry work so I might as well just buy this stump grinder because a lot of these fields up here we got to get rid of the hedges and uh, Yeah, we gotta get rid of the hedges and uh, the trees around it. That would be nice if I change the right tool. Should stay on there. Famous last words. We need to get rid of that map too. We don't need the map on for what we're doing. Hello, sheep. Right across the street. And without crop destruction on, I'm not going to worry too much about uh, all right, hitting the back fence there or whatever. Hedge. However, how are the chicks doing? Uh, 163 eggs in there. Not bad. Exactly. Alright, so we need to go dump off our grain. And then what we'll do is we'll get the new Holland right to work on here. We'll drop the trailer off in the yard because uh, then we got to grab the header. Bring that over to the harvester. Make sure I get that up all the way that I can. I can't back this trailer too far because it'll go nutty wussies. Uh, because it's a tipper trailer. And it's probably going to hit the roof like it did. No, but it actually emptied in time. Actually, I can go up this way. So, we might as well leave the door open because we got to make two more deliveries of grain. Might as well bring the, the, the dumper trailer right over into the field that we're going to be working in. Let's go pick up the header trailer and see if I can dump this somewhere. A lot of times as I use the header trailer, so I don't know if there's a locking script on that. I'll just take it somewhat easy. 
Hopefully I can get out of here with it. I see it's still on in the mirror, so didn't fall over on the turn. Definitely going to check for traffic both ways before I head out, because if a car comes flying down the road, it'll probably take it right off. Alright, now we'll rotate this around. Not bad, not bad. Um, now if I turn the header this way, or the trailer this way, when we're done, she should be able to hook right on. When I hook right on, I can drop the header right on there. All right, we'll bring the John Deere back over here. Actually, going to tab right over to the New Holland. Uh, that's yeah. So I don't have any more artificial fertilizer left up here. But the bio uh, treatment uh, gas plant. Oh man, did that too quick, didn't I? Got everything now. There we go. Uh, should have some artificial fertilizer made down there, which might be enough to do what we need for the rest of the year. And hopefully during the winter we can produce more so we'll be all set which I think we're gonna be just fine field are we in? 32. Now see how course play deals with not a completely square field. I did it before so. Alright, took a few tries. Trial and error. She's going. Thank you. Holy crap. Oh, man. Alright, let's get back in our harvester. Get to work ourselves. Daylight is burning. start loading up some tritical. Also tritical can be made into straw as well. Interesting. At least we'll get a fertilization, fertilization stage off of it. So we're not going to be making no money for a few days. Uh, I'm only going to do jobs in fields where my rep is not full. Which is not many fields left. Uh, for me, doing jobs now for $800 here and there, I don't really see the need. Although I do need still lots of cash uh, for what we need to do. But with the seed that we're, or the grain that we got stored in storage, uh, the sheep's wool that we can sell in the springtime, it's eventually going to uh, pay off but I already know the first toy that I'm gonna buy when we I think I got a 125 grand that's when uh, we'll look into it 
Yeah, let's get the whole field close enough. And like I said, if we need to, we can always borrow cash from the bank. Because we don't have a loan. No loan. I like paying off the loan as soon as we can. If we don't need it. And uh, yeah, we, we paid it off pretty quick in this series. Very quick. And haven't had to borrow money at all yet. Which is nice. Uh, yeah, if we were to borrow 300 grand right now, we could buy a lot of things that would help us out in the farm. Definitely, like, buy more animals would be good. Some more moo cows. But we weren't going to have cows the first year anyways. But since uh, we could use the grass in the pasture, that's when I just said, well, let's get the cows just to get them started. So we can start producing manure and uh, liquid manure. Seems a little laggy at this end for some reason. We also got our chickens right now with the amount of eggs we got in there. That's pretty close to 1500 bucks. When it comes time to sell the grain in the middle of winter, uh, we'll probably be able to buy our new toy. But for now, let's see, now the lag just went, so it was like it was laggy in that little dippy area right there. Basically, I'll just come out and say that the new toy is going to be a truck. Because we got to do a lot of hauling around on this map, and the John Deere that we have does okay coming uphill with an empty trailer. <laughs> and we're going to need a truck that can bring a trailer, a full trailer up. Uh, we got to bring seed up the hill to refill our storage and fertilizer. And eventually, uh, it looks like when we sell milk on this map, the better sell point is up here. And of course the cows are down there. Now I know I mentioned in the last episode that we're going to have separate tankers for all the stuff. Do you want to mix and match? But I think to start right off we will just have one tanker. Because the tankers that I I uh, do have in mind to use, they are 70000 a piece. So yeah, you're going to need one for liquid fertilizer and you're going to need one for gas you're going to need one for milk so that's you know 210 kind of extreme and I'm sure I'm missing a tanker in there for something oh water we're going to want a bigger bigger water tanker at some point well it's not too bad really uh, we can hold off on the water tanker because the sheep and the cows aren't really taking the full uh, Joskin tanker yet. I can actually fill a, fill up the troughs with just one tank. And that only holds 8,000. How's my course play worker doing? Looks like he's a... Uh, or she, I think it was a she. She's doing fine. Yeah, the wheels were locked up on the New Holland because I hit start course recording. I was like, oh, I don't want to do that. And then I tried to, I activate something else on course play. So I was kind of trying to do two things at once. So once I hit stop course recording, the wheels could turn. So I wasn't quite sure what was going on there for a while. I'm like, what? Why is that all screwy? So I'm going to get to finishing up this field and I'll bring you back near the end to see how much critical we get. 
and there we have the Triticale. Obviously didn't yield as well as the Oak did. Uh, because Triticale is worth more, so that you expect it to yield less. So it looks like I by doing two headlands, she's doing just fine. Uh, I want to get back into the John Deere. Let's go and load the harvester so we can go put this in the storage. I'm really enjoying uh, the map even more now that we're doing work in our own fields. And you first start and you're doing all the work in other people's fields, this doesn't feel... Uh, well, for me anyways, this is my opinion. It just doesn't feel as good when you're doing work in your own fields. And I like being able to use our own resources to produce stuff. That's why I was looking for the, a mod that produces liquid fertilizer. And of course we were going to make our own gas, but the plan I had was, you know, a quarter of a million dollars and that was going to take a while to get to. Yeah, I can always go in the XM files and change the prices and things. I, I try not to, to do, to do it that way because, you know, I try to leave mods the way the mod authors made them. And I really can't wait to try out the, uh, the trailers I got. Uh, I haven't used them yet. Uh, I saw them a while ago when I stopped playing Farm Sim. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty neat. I, I gotta use that next time. And uh, I didn't download it when I saw it. <laughs> now when I, start, I started playing this map, I was like, now I gotta find that mod again. I could see people playing with it, but they didn't have links to the original mod and whatnot. So hopefully, I think I downloaded from the original mod, uh, author of it, but we'll see those trailers at some point. Need a truck first, right? So if we go to our... I think we went the wrong way. Yes, yeah, so we got uh, 77,000 liters of wheat. And let's see here. Where is... That's going to be down here. So we got 20,000 liters of... Oh, and there's a uh, Triticale at 16. So you can see that their prices go... You know, already they're, they're pretty good. But if we go... Let's see here. Oh. S and then we go to well let's go one more so we just did a uh, Triticale so you can see it it's not a bad price but in a while it's going to go up maybe another hundred or so per liter like the third or fourth day it's the same for wheat and I think oh it's, everything's like the middle of winters right now it seems like the highest price uh, unless you go to wool and stuff like that milk but then again, I haven't played a full season yet, so the prices haven't, seasons hasn't quite, you know, economically figured it out, probably. Uh, definitely in the spring for wool. Uh, that's why we don't want to sell it now. But, uh, alright, let's uh, head up and start harvesting some, I, have, I gotta think about playing, oh, millet. Yeah, the famous millet field for me at this point, because I've planted it too early in the springtime. I thought I was going to cheat the system. I said, well, usually you get a day grace period. And I was looking at the temperatures and I'm like, well, psh, the next day should be more than warm enough to, you know, get the ground temperature up. And the ground temperature actually went down. And I lost, I lost the field. Live and learn. Try not to, you know, I learned not to go cheat the system too much. But, you know, it is what it is. Alright, make sure we get the pipe in. Now, in FS19, which you probably heard, and I mentioned in my Farmer's Dynasty videos even, uh, FS19 is going to have animals in it, meaning birds. And the reason I'm thinking of that because I know birds love millet. I used to have some birds and millet was like, the minute you, you know, you whipped out a millet stick or whatever, it's, they, they start chirping like mad, like they knew what it was, like, oh, bring that over here. 
Now, as far as I know, though, of course, I don't believe millet is a new fruit type they're going to have. But the birds will follow a plow and a cedar, I think. Um, don't don't hold me to that. I, 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 I'm almost sure it's the plow. But I think someone else said they'll follow a cedar as well. So I don't know if the bird's going to be a nuisance to where when you seed it, they're going to peck the seeds out of the ground. And the other thing that FS19 is going to have is technically... You know, we got we got a weeder in this game to take the weeds out in the field, but I guess we will see the weeds in 19. But then again, I would check uh, Giants forums about that because that's what I saw on a YouTube channel somewhere. Let's see, our cultivator guy, woman, is still going. I'm trying to figure out if I want to take uh, these two fields and make them into one next spring as well. Uh, if you have an opinion, let me know in the comments below if you think we should make this one field as well. Or should I keep them separate so we can plant more fruit types in them? To me, it doesn't really matter because... You know, we, like I said, we, we got the farm on a good foothold now. We got a good footing going. Yes, we need to upgrade some stuff, but we have almost everything that we need. Uh, a truck and a tanker right now is kind of needed. So we can make more seed, but I think, I think with the amount of seed that the uh, seed master made might get us through what we have here. I'm trying to remember, I think we had 3,000 seeds. So I think that's enough to plant three more fields. But with the money that we're going to make in the off season, and also when spring comes, I got those big fields I get to work into again. Uh, we should earn enough money to, you know, buy everything we need. Really, I would love to when spring comes when I work in all the big fields to buy buy all the right tankers so we don't mix and match. But if it comes down to it, eh, then I'll kind of cheat the system. We'll just say we wash, we pressure wash the inside and it's fine. All right, the course player worker is done, but I'm kind of sitting in the field that they need to do next. So I think at least in this episode, we will finish harvesting the field and we'll call it there and we'll let, we'll let the course player worker work off screen. It's not like we're watching them anyways. I don't think no one wants to watch that new haul with a three meter uh, cultivator go around the field, do you? <laughs> so what I may do when, he, when he's working off screen, I may go work in other people's fields just to earn small money. I mean, every little dollar does count, and I do need to get that done. So while it's running, I may, may as well, you know, do some work in some fields. Maybe I can get that $125 uh, dollars quickly, quicker than normal, and we can get ourselves a truck. Which I've used my, my previous map, Rattlesnake Valley. That's my test map right now, so... Like when I downloaded the trailers I was talking about, just before this episode, and I went on the Rattlesnake Valley just to, you know, buy a few and test it out with the truck. That's the only time I got to use the truck I want to use as well. Just shortly. But eventually you get to see the truck, and eventually you get to see the trailers. The truck, I really haven't seen no one use yet. Now, I realize as, as YouTube viewers, we all watch different people, so maybe you've seen it on some other, someone else's channel. Um, I do watch other YouTubers when I'm rendering videos. Editing and rendering videos, yep. Or when, I, when I'm eating dinner, not doing nothing. TV, real TV? Who watches real TV nowadays? Not me. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, I just watch other, other people's videos. You get ideas that way as well. I 
And sometimes that's how you find uh, new games that you may want to play. Kind of like the one I've been... Let's see, this video is going to go out on Monday, which will be the 9th of July. So by then, I'm going to have probably five episodes out of my time at Porsche. Um, I, I saw that in my, on a YouTuber's channel. I watched it, and I'm like, that looks like a game I'd like. And then, uh, of course, the summer sale's on, and it was going for 15 bucks. I said, well, why not try to quickly and... I've been playing a lot of that game. <laughs> uh, as I'm recording this video right now, it's not getting many... I think I got three uh, episodes live right now, and it's not getting many views. Actually, I'm sorry, it's only gotten two. Yeah, it's only uh, two videos out there now. Not getting, not getting the views, but most of you are here for farming, obviously. There will be farming in that game when I get to a certain, you know, a certain level and all that. So it looks like the mill I can make in the straw as well. A lot of things I can make in the straw, but right now I just want to get fertilizing sages on it. We got straw. I realize I can make some money off the straw, but since I don't have fertilizer, that much artificial fertilizer right now, it's good that I'm kind of uh, using the chopped straw mod. Alright, pipe out. Make one more pass up here. We need to unload this sucker. So it looks like in about three or four... Well, yeah, I forgot it does that when it fills up. In about uh, three or four episodes, we will probably have like a selling day. Because... <laughs> Let's see, we'll have wheat, we'll have oat, we'll have triticale, and millet to sell. I did use a John Deere at night, kind of like for the first time, those LED lights look awesome. I was doing the total mix rations last night and it was just just great when I was down there at the cow, cow shed and those lights were on everywhere although I still don't get that total mix rations when you load up with 6,000 liters and fill up their trough it only counts as 3 because the silage part of the total mix rations count as silage I was like okay So what I'm going to do at this point is, like the other three fields, you see me do uh, one full harvester of each crop type basically. I'm going to wrap up this field and we'll get closer, wrapping up the video when we come back. So I'll see you in a second. Well, before I finish that field, I went over and got the course play worker since I'm out of that field. And course play did a wonderful job. I mean, the people that coded course play, fantastic work. That's all I got to say. It's just fantastic. I mean, I can't complain that they missed that little corner there. I mean, really? Uh, oh, that's the wrong. That's why I'm like, why isn't that going down? It's the wrong tool. So we need, I'm going to go over and get this guy set up and going. Well, at least I just want to show you how well course play did. I mean, fantastic job. Wonderful. But uh, I'm going to go over and get this guy, gal, whoever's going to take the job over in the next field and get them going. And I'll see you in a second after they get going because I'm almost done harvesting anyways. Did you see that wonderful driving? Yeah. Power sliding out of, out of the field. All right, I'll see you in a second because, you know, I'm still learning on this course play. It may take me an hour and a half to set this sucker up. 
See, even the chickens are laughing at me. And yes, I had some trouble getting them going again, starting at the right thing. This new course play that just got updated a few days ago changed. I don't know if it changed a couple things, but it seems like I'm just I just gotta figure it out a little bit. It's just a couple minor tweaks that they did, which I'm I'm sure it made it better. I'm just not used to it just yet. But then again, like I said, it has been a while since I played Farming Simulator and a while since I used course play to begin with. So I kind of forgotten how some of it worked, so I'm sure it's all just down to user error at this point. But he, she seems to be doing just fine, getting going. Man, I can't miss that Triticale. I'll we'll get it while back up and start there. I may even uh, see the fields off cam as well because we only got that three meter cathedral so I don't know who wants to watch that so maybe I'll be doing quite a few jobs while the new Holland is uh, seeding as well but that's why I play at one time to speed because I just don't want to run out of time doing things I used to play at times 15 a lot and at the end of the day would come and I'm like uh and in seasons it's not like you're like, oh, I'll just do it tomorrow sometimes in seasons you're just like well I'm screwed <laughs> you wake up the next day and all your crops are all withered but really it's not going to take them too long to cultivate two more fields here and then replant them. So I know I said I probably won't do much work, but probably I'll do enough work to where... Well, I'll, I'll do enough work, I'm sure. Okay, head her off. Pipe out. And as realized the header trailer is down at the other end of the field, so hopefully I can clear that out of there before he gets down there. Pipe in, we'll fold that up. Yeah, the one thing I didn't check for when I bought this harvester and went for it is... is I didn't check for a trailer hitch. I just assumed, I, I got so used to playing with a new Holland the CR-10 having a hitch on there. I just always took it for granted that Paul Harvester's had a hitch on there. Live and learn. Oops, the head of the... Okay. And I learned and switched the right tool. Don't fall off, please. Thank you. So we are done with a harvester for the year. Any cars coming? Don't see any. And the hitbox screwed me over on that one. So let's go park this up. Even though it doesn't need it it's going to get washed a quick spray just to make sure I'm actually surprised it didn't get I mean I don't even see any dirt on it really and just like that it's air dried so let's <laughs> uh, where do I want to park this not in there, so I think we'll park it where the uh, the original harvester was. Oh, the fun part's going to be when I go to park the header somewhere with our articulated trailer. This I, I, I cry. I'm not good with those at all.
Thank you, Case. See you in the spring. All right, so we got uh, 13,000 liters of millet. Our worker's doing a wonderful job. I always say worker, but technically it's course play, and I don't pay my course pay course play uh, workers at all. Although for some reason that missed that little section there. Back it in just far enough to uh, hit the trigger. Now the only thing I don't understand is uh, with this trailer, I have the trap door but it won't let me empty out the trap door. I know it says tip side back tip side grain door but when I do that it still tips the whole trailer which I wish it didn't do but it do uh, but what I need to do is go get go get the I was hoping I could open the door without getting out of the tractor <laughs> trying to cheat the system a little bit alright I need to go get that header out of that field before the course play worker gets over there yeah, so you can see we got uh, 22,000 uh, seed left, and I think the seed roll is full. Alright, get ready to play some Benny Hill music when I go to try to back this into the that little shed area. Also, someone does know if there's a locking script on this uh, header trailer, which I may find out before I get any comments. <laughs> Come on, make the corner. Thank you. Luckily, I didn't. I didn't get a bigger header because that might have some issues <laughs> getting in some of these areas but that's, that's part of the fun this is not going to be fun so I may cut this out may leave it in all depends on how terrible of a job I do backing this thing up already I'm doing a terrible job right back all the way is that why Yep. 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 Alright. It probably won't. I just want to see if it does. <laughs> but I'm not going to leave it here, I don't think. Uh, yeah, that's going to make it do that. So don't do that. Okay, mistakes were made. Had to reset the trailer, and I was hoping the header would stay on it, but that was you know not true and now I got the header in there and uh, well I'll figure it out at a later date and off camera but the trailer is now down at the shop the headers in there are fit so yeah fun stuff but what we're gonna do now before we end the episode since we got the worker going to town I want to meet you down at the biofuel plant does it say oh, it doesn't show it in the map either okay uh, meet you down there and we'll we'll get some artificial fertilizer so we can come back up here and uh, put in storage and then we'll call it an episode so I'll see you in a second I will say the entrance is placeable area the angle is just a hair off I don't think it's gonna be too bad with a truck and trailer. 
I mean, this luckily there's no traffic down here. So here we are at a replaceable. And I already forgot, I keep calling a biogas plant, but it's not called that. If we go to placeables. Bioprocessor plant. All right. So I can't remember what we brought down. Ooh, it only made a thousand. Uh, but we didn't put that much manure in there. We put solid manure, cow manure in there. Uh, what do we put? Like a, just, just a couple thousand liters? So we got 552 gallons of, of fuel. Uh, liquid fertilizer, 1100 actually. That's, not, that's pretty good. And we got 1100 of the solid fertilizer, which is not as much as I was hoping for. But every little bit will count. It was worth the trip. <laughs> not really. But yeah, we, we, we might as well come down and get it. Uh, so while we're here, how do the cows do with the total mix rations? So the health isn't going up that that much. And they haven't really produced that much manure in a day. So hopefully over time with total mix rations, the cow's health will go up. I keep saying total mix rations, power food. Uh, their health will go up better and better and better. But, uh, hey, we did start at 7% because we just had grass and water. But uh, I'll meet you back up at the farm to where we can put this in storage. And we know now that when you put stuff in the storage tanks, it takes, it takes a little bit to register. So we're not going to see it when it goes in, I don't think. So I'll meet you back up there for you in a second, for me in about two minutes. Just so you see with the John Deere, even with only a thousand liters, we bottomed out at 12 miles an hour going uphill. So you can imagine if this trailer was full, it's just going to get bogged down. So yeah, we're going to need a truck to bring up the stuff. Plus, the truck can go faster. But here we are back at the farm. And I just realized I got the flipping thing sitting over the trigger, so hopefully... That'll do. That won't show up right away. But eventually it will. Just like the C did. I think it took about, about three or four minutes. Matter of fact, if I probably speed up time to 15 times, it probably will. Since we're not going to use a trailer anytime soon, it needs a wash. All the different grain and fertilizer in today should wash it. I thought about uh, grabbing some more, some more of the cow manure and bring it to the processing plant, but really for what we have, it's not worth it. And I think with the fertilizer we got, we'll just go with it until we run out. When we run out, we run out. Luckily, like I said, that's why I didn't bother making straw. We used uh, chopped straw on the map to uh, give us a fertilizing stage. Nice, clean John Deere and tractor. So we'll park up the trailer because the, even the chickens are good for a few days. And we'll call this an episode. And I just got I really got the harvester header down there, but... We don't need the header for a while. I just got to figure out how to get it out of there. Either at this point, either I got to reset that. I can either reset the header because which way is the header facing? Of course, it's facing that way. So I can either reset the header than have to drive the harvester all the way down there to put it on the header. 
<sighs> Luckily, we got all winter to figure that out. Or I can just pull the harvester out and bulldoze uh, the header out, and then uh, and we'll figure out in the spring. But for today, that's going to do it, guys. It's going to do it for a morning on the Pacific Northwest. Uh, how's our... He's almost done with that field, and I'll get him working on, on a field later on. But I'll let him finish this one before I call it quits for today playing myself. But, uh, yeah. Just got to have him cultivate the other field, and I'll get him to seeding the three fields. And maybe I'll even, nah. I think what I'll do is I'll let him cultivate the two fields. And when he's seeding the other three, I'll go find work in other fields. If we look, well, yeah, let me get on the map here. Do I have, where are the field statuses? Uh, looks like everyone's harvested their fields. So I can, I prop, well, those are, those are ours, stupid. Um, <laughs> I can probably, can see here, uh, looks like he's already cultivated that one. So, you know, I got some jobs where I can probably maybe fertilize and cultivate and reseed again if I wanted to. But I'll probably do that while he's seeding those three fields. But like I said, that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you for watching the Pacific Northwest. Hopefully you enjoy the episode. And until I see you in the next one, have a good one.